welcome back to my channel it's dark what's going on okay hello everyone and welcome back to my channel uh, although you guys have probably seen me every friday for like the past month i haven't filmed in a hot minute in a hot minute wow but i'm back my hair is wild today like i couldn't decide middle side so today uh i want to do something different i feel like i've been very hair focused lately and that's just not everything that my channel is about you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know we've got to dip the toe in another pond sometimes in the pond in the pool in the pond today we're talking about my experiences as a black girl living in asia in particular china and we're talking about like i've already got a video on being black in china so we're not focusing this like on being black i'm talking about my experience in china and how it's actually made me just the slightest bit more insecure than i was well like it's enhanced some of my insecurities but it's helped me in other ways i was supposed to do a video with holly talking about uh like sort of the uh, things that she's experienced as a white girl in china and the things that i've experienced as a black girl in china and how they might be different that will come sometime soon if you guys are interested if you want to see that do let me know but today we're talking specifically about me so if you guys know me like know me know me you know that i'm not shy at all but if you meet me for the first time you might you might think i'm a little bit shy because I always say that I'm a little bit socially awkward, but I, I rebuke it. Uh, like when I'm with my squad, for example, if I meet someone for the first time, I typically let my squad do most of the work whilst I gauge, do I like this person? Do I want to, you know, you know, you know. So I don't do much talking and that might lead someone, oh, guys, I've got something in my eye. As the newbie, you might then think, oh, this one's a little bit shy in regards to me. But boy, is you up for something later but being in China has actually helped me with that because when I meet someone for the first time here unless I, re I really 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 like it's a choice to not want to talk to them so when I meet them for the first time here I have to talk I have to be more confident because everybody wants to talk to me like I'm, 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 I'm that white girl that, that white girl means foreign person by the way some of the pros about living about me coming to China have been that it has made me more confident Sorry, I just need to separate this one. <laughs> yeah, I was really scared of public speaking, but by force here, I can't be. I mean, first of all, I'm a teacher. Secondly, they don't, I mean, like sometimes as a foreign teacher, they actually call us foreign teachers, but I'm just a teacher, okay? Um, I have to, well, as a native English speaker, I should say, um, some of the English teachers would like us to do some sort of presentation for them or like teach them some things like how we learn in primary school and like just stuff like that like do random little talks so um by force we've had to come out of that comfort zone and process my thoughts on the spot and get them out like and these people have degrees like i don't have a degree in teaching guys i'm just volunteering but these people have degrees these people They've been teaching for like 12 years and stuff and I, I'm here volunteering. I've only been teaching for about seven months and yeah, they, they want to hear from me and how I teach and why my classes are fun and stuff. So yeah, it's definitely helped me come out of my comfort zone and I've become a lot more confident in the public speaking little box because yeah, it was really a struggle. I've become a lot more resilient just, you know, being away from home as a, I'm only 19, like, I'm still a baby girl in my head anyway and yeah just stuff like that like the general stuff um what one thing that i definitely say that china has not helped me with is my insecurities well i've been talking for like 10 minutes and i've not said what well, i haven't even gotten to the real tea like wow first of all coming here i'm a black girl um that's not so skinny yeah like come on curvy we curvy let's just say so um I'm not exactly China's ideal standard of beauty. <sighs> I know you guys know that most of Asia, most of like most Asian countries prefer really light, long hair, quite slender or slim. Oh, slender. Look at me using fancy words. Quite slender, quite, you know, <laughs> 
I know I say slender. Anyway, quite slim, quite fair skin, with really long hair. Like, if you're white, you white privilege exists in Asia too, guys. Just saying. I'm just saying. Like, yeah, so I'm not exactly their I ideal, not even type, but their ideal. D I can't think of the word. I'm not exactly their ideal standard of beauty. I knew that coming here though. I was like I didn't expect it to affect me. But it's it's affected me in subliminal ways, like in little ways that I didn't expect. Um one, when I'm here, half the time I don't look like this, guys. I don't look like this on a daily basis. If you've got me on Snapchat, most of the time I'm snapping with no makeup. So a lot of times I don't even want to show my face. <laughs> because I, I just don't care anymore. Like obviously in the UK it's not like I care. I enjoy putting makeup on but I don't know how to explain it. But when I'm here I kind of let myself go just a little bit. Sometimes um, I hear people saying things that I don't particularly like. For example, this, this was really like awkward. So um... Holly and I were supposed to be going to some sort of like, I don't know, it was like some flower sort of event and we didn't know where it was. Um, Holly is the person that I got sent overseas with. For some reason when I say partner, you guys get really confused and, and think I'm a, it's a romantical, to be fair, only one person got confused, but it's not a romantical relationship. It's a practical one because we got sent overseas together. Anyway, this event, but we didn't know where it was and the teacher was like, well, okay, I'll get someone to show you where it is. Um, and I said, oh, what's his name? Like, so at least we know his name. Um, she said, you're not gonna know his Chinese name. Like, you won't remember it. So, um, I can describe to you what he looks like. So I'm like, okay, go ahead, boo. Describe what he looks like. And she goes, um, he's very beautiful because he has pale skin. So if he's beautiful because he has pale skin, then what am I? If you guys have me on Snapchat, you've already heard this story, but basically there's this man who's supposed to be looking after us and when the lady from Project Trust came to see us, like they come, they, they plan trips to see, well, one trip to see us in China. Project Trust is the company that I went abroad with, by the way, so they kind of look after us-ish, well they try to, I don't know how well they do it, but they try to. Anyway, back to my point. So, um, she came and they made this this huge deal about her being here. They were treating her like some sort of celebrity, like a celebrity status. So we went out for a meal and we sat on the table. Bear in mind, they're all speaking Chinese and me, Rosie, the lady's name was Rosie and Holly, we, we don't speak fluent Chinese. In fact, I would like to say I don't speak much at all, but uh, okay. We sat there so we don't really understand and then this man tries to, I guess, get us in the joke because they're all like skinning. Skinning means laughing. They're all like laughing their, their heads off and I'm just like, I wonder what's so funny, right? Then, um, Miss Oh, I just I just said his name then the man says um, do you want do you want me to tell you what the joke is I'm like yeah sure he's like do you know what nickname we called you guys and I'm thinking it's gonna be something cute because there's some volunteers that are like not too far away from us and they they got they get called like big bear and little bear and ratatair ratatair but okay anyway so I'm like yeah sure like, I'm, I'm even smiling because I want to know like, I'm thinking it's gonna be a cute thing because nicknames are normally based on a personality trait or like something cool about you, you know well unless you bullies picked your nickname and he goes we call you blackie and whitey it just irritated me because at that point we've been in China for about six maybe seven months no six months ish you know my personality you know the way I teach you know my strong points you know my weak points but the only thing you can focus on is the color of my skin like really really um but sometimes i enjoy my experiences in china but would i come back here and do it again no i don't want people the reason why i'm actually even doing this video i might actually just cut this out and put it in the beginning but the reason why i'm actually doing this video is because i've had a lot of people say oh my god that's so cool you're in china blah blah and i feel like my being in black um video being in black wow being black in china video was very very positive and yeah most of the times i have positive experiences when i'm with holly um but I also have a lot of negative experiences and I don't want people to come to China thinking that it's all going to be good and flowers and roses and only happy memories because realistically that's not the case. 
you have to be quite thick skinned and if you if you're not confident in yourself before you come to china in terms of your appearance as a black woman or black male whatever if you're not confident with yourself don't expect their words their words or the way they treat you to make you feel more confident because you actually get a smack in the face like the reason why it's a it's affected me a lot more than I thought it would is because like I I don't know it kind of being here sometimes makes me question like what I actually believe in and if I've actually become stronger than I was anyway thank you guys Oh, um, we're, 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 thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye